What up people, it's your boy Chib from Guna Eagle Eye coming to you again with a brand new video. This time is to talk about the fact that Callum Chambers is looking like he's off. And people are actually happy about it. I'm about to talk to you about why I wouldn't sell to Callum Chambers. Now, it seems like with the emergence of Rob Holding, um, everyone has kind of got that, you know, England guy fix, you know. Everybody has one, everybody has a project, whether they like to admit it or not. Everybody has that one English player that they want to see do well and go on and represent their, their country. Particularly if they're an England fan. If you're not an England fan, you might not give a shit as much. But everybody has that, that one project that they like to see do well, you know. Whether people want to admit it or not, for United it's Rashford. Um, for us it's Rob Holding. Um, for Chelsea, oh yeah, they just sold their prospects. <laughs> ah, so, sorry, little moment to myself. Um, but everybody generally, because we've got to account for Chelsea, have their English projects. You know, people they want to see do well. City fans will still defend John Stones to you. Trust me. Everybody has that one player, rightly or wrongly, that they want to do defend and don't get me wrong here yeah i'm not i you know i like to see england do well i'm british born i'm english born i am english i guess uh, but everybody knows if you've listened to me for a long period of time whilst i like to see england do well there's only so much disappointment you can handle and uh, for me i also i i am an, a nigerian fan there's no two ways about it if you've known me for any period of time, I am a super eagle. That's why Kanu is one of my fa is my favorite Arsenal player. People never understand that when I say it, and quite frankly, it's not for you to understand. <laughs> but he is. Um, the reason I bring all this up is Callum Chambers. We bought this guy for sixteen million from Southampton, um, and he's done all right. He, he has. He's done okay. And I admit, you know, we as Arsenal fans, he was our John Stones for a while, you know? Someone that, if we're honest, we all overrated a little bit. We all wanted to see him do well. And I think initially he did start off well. Then had a couple of really dodgy games. I think the one that comes to mind for everybody was the one a game against Swansea where... Um, oh, I've forgotten the name of that. Montero absolutely roasted uh, Callum Chambers um, on both legs of the game. So the one, the game at home and the game away, um, and roasted Chambers for pace. And I think both games, Chambers was playing right back. I think the one thing we can all say is that Callum Chambers is not a right back. Nor do I believe he is a defensive midfielder. I think people need to understand that since he's come to Arsenal, he's played the defensive midfielder, he's played right back, he's a centre-back, he just is. And a lot of people have made the comparison because he's not gone on to kick on, they've started to, to compare him to Phil Jones. Phil Jones who also was similarly touted to have a massive um, career a massive potential um, at, at uh, Man United. Um, and, a, and a player that even Arsene Wenger was interested in for a long time. Um, and it never really kicked on because people were obsessed with playing him in various different positions. And he never really developed in one position. I mean, when you think about it like that, you can kind of see why Alex Chambers w wants to leave because... Chamberlain, I should say, wants to leave because... Um, when you think about it like that, it's not always great to be a jack of all trades. You want to be a specialist in one. For me, I just don't believe that Chambers has had his chance. He's had his opportunity to show what he can do. Um, I believe that there is more to come from him. I think the mere fact that we're asking for 20 million for this kid, and, and supposedly we're trying to put a buyback clause um, or to have a first option, I should say, should Palace sell him, 
tells you all you need to know about Callum Chambers. Um, for me, I wouldn't sell him. I think we should be looking to sell someone like Bambi, a.k.a. Uh, Gabrielle. Um, I don't really understand why there's no stories even being linked to him. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't hate Gabrielle. I think he, he is what he is, and I, and I think sometimes he does prove to be useful. If you're asking me who I feel has the better prospects as an Arsenal player going forward, it's Chambers every time. It's, it's not even close. So, I'm... Every time I log on to Twitter, you're seeing these people celebrating that Chambers is going. I don't personally understand it, because for me, he ain't ma he ain't on my chopping block. He won't you won't be making appearance on my chopping block. I'd have him, I'd keep him, particularly with someone like Per Matasaka retiring uh, next season. Per can prepare him, can nurture him. I know the way this will sound, but but let's just be real. I think. Unless the only circumstance that I would sell Chambers is if we're buying a Van Dyke or a Kudabali, then I understand. Because let's face it, how is he going to play? But if that's not the case, what's the problem? Have him in there. I, 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 for me personally, I, it looks like this deal is going to go through. Um, at the time I'm recording this, Jim White from Sky Sports um, has reported it widely across the UK that he expects Gibbs, um, Chesney and um, Chambers to go. Um, there's talk that Gibbs is on the verge of potentially being sold to, um, to uh, West Brom. Uh, Chesney is on the verge of literally completing a £10 million deal to Juventus um, and it looks like this Chambers deal for, for Palace I'm hoping this is the one that falls through um, just because I believe he has potential I really do. I don't want us to sell him if we sell him we sell him it is what it is it's just I feel like it will be a mistake and you guys know I don't I forget the way I look now I, at once upon a time I used to play defence for a couple of teams, successful teams at that. Rough Rider for life. Only a few people understand what that means. Um, but once upon a time, I used to be a defender. And you guys know, I made that call with Per Because I understood, I understand a little bit about playing the position. This kid has it. He just needs to, we need to give him a chance first and foremost. And you watch him develop. I think he'll be something special. Anyway guys, you let me know what you think. And before you press dislike because you see the title, at least I'm hoping you've heard what I've had to say at least. Anyway, crush that like button. I've got a feeling I'm going to need it for this video. Crush that like button for me. Um, hopefully you're going to get a few more things from me, particularly when we start selling players. Um, you're going to see a new feature from me. I did mention it earlier on Twitter. Speaking of Twitter, do follow me at Colossal Chig. Uh, my handle's in the description below. And if you're listening to me for the first time, I don't know what the hell you're waiting for. Press subscribe. I've got loads of shit coming. So you'll, you'll enjoy it, I promise. All right, people, I'm out of here. Take care. Peace.